What is going on, everybody? We're back, this time with some live commentary. Hopefully the audio sounds good. And we're playing some more LeBroom Paladin. LeBroom? LaBroom? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not French. I'm not Canadian. I'm sorry. I live kind of close to Canada, but I'm not Canadian. I guess the Demon Hunter, we want to keep uh, Eldor Attendant. I don't think we want to keep the rest of this. We are favored in this matchup if we can draw our stuff, so I think looking for any kind of cycle is really good. Eh, 3 1. That draws some two cards pretty good. I really, really want um, that Demon Hunter portrait. So, um. So, no camera again. I kind of realize that the camera slows my computer down a bit. And why are they, what are they doing here? Okay. And um, it also kind of sometimes makes a high pitch buzzy in the background. So until I can figure that out and get a little better lighting, I think I'm gonna do this. We'll just hear a power here, can't do much else. You can hear the beautiful sound of my sarcastic voice, and I mean, you don't want to see me anyways. I'm not I'm not an e-boy, I guess, quote unquote. My best quality is a mustache, which you can't even see because the resolution's awful. So, I'll stick with this. It's fine. So next turn, unless we get a buff, I think we're gonna play the three one. Cycling seems really good. It's not a bad card. Let's just play the 3-1. And we'll just hit him in the face. So we eventually want to get to the point where we can uh, discount these guys pretty low and do a whole bunch of Leagenders. That game I played against Dexter was pretty cool. I'm sorry that it was so weirdly cut and for the voiceover, but um, kind of needed to because in the beginning of that video, it was really discombobulated. I was not paying attention to what I was doing and I was like oh we'll just, just we'll drop this game and then we'll go do the next one. we'll just start recording the next one and I realized it was Dexter I was like oh no we gotta um we gotta play it out now we gotta get that Dexter content going and then the audio was messed up so I was like okay we'll just do a voiceover and here we are like honestly um let's play the draw first always draw Fenlinger is pretty good, but we can't bounce back to hand right now, so we will play the 2-1. Next time we get a taunt, we are going to be kind of SOL if we can't start discounting stuff. We go taunt into taunt into heal if we need to. That's fine. I don't, I'm don't. i not really concerned about the value off this, though I do kind of want to kill this so we can... Uh, don't get these guys silenced, but at the end of it, it doesn't really matter. This is still a 4-6, right? I think we start doing a little bit of clearing. If we can. I don't really care about having a pen flinger, one pen flinger. I don't think it matters too much. I apologize, my uh, computer was on the verge of death. So I wanted to hear it. So let's see, they, they just blade dance, that's fine. So I think, let's keep putting stuff on the board. Discounting stuff, and just playing a 1-1, one, one. it's fine. We can start doing this stuff next time. We get a spell, we can play the High Abyss. Out of breath, I had to like sprint upstairs. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not terribly concerned. He's doing the pens too! Yeah, uh, De Se Soul Demon Hunter has started doing more uh, pen player stuff. I'm not terribly concerned about where they just got cleared. We have healing for eight, which we'll probably go into. This starts to get discounted. And I actually kind of like, I don't know if we play the broom here. I don't think we do. I think there's better things to do with the broom. But uh, let's get back up to 24, play a taunt, make him deal with it. Next one we're at 8, so we have a pretty clunky hand, and this is not that jacked up yet. 
but let's make it awkward for him to deal with this. Okay, pen fling it and then bounce it. I mean, that's fine. Like, I'm just getting it there to heal more than anything else. So it costed, costed six. So if, he, if he silences it too, that's fine. I'm not terribly worried about it too much. He's not, they're running out of resources too pretty quickly. If they don't get draw going, they are going to be in a bit of a spot. I think the next turn, if they don't clear this, we're going to play the 4-5 five, five and the rush. Wow. That's 8 damage they're taking. <laughs> and, wow. I don't know if that was a very good play, to be honest. So... Actually, let's go with this into that. That's okay, we can use one of them to clear the board. Or not, actually, we should just, just do that. And have them deal with this board as it is. Um, they've used... So my only thing is we should probably start to find, play another Clear of Hope soon. We are at 16, but they have used two Twin Slices and a one Twin Slice and a Lapidary already. Um, the Warblaves sucks. What's going face right now? Pen Flinger, okay. So Blade Dance into a swing is fine. That means now we can play our Devout Pupils. Or another Libram of Hope. So let's play the Libram of Hope. Let's heal again. Then we can go into Liadrin eventually too. And then heal again as well. I want them to keep dealing with this and take face damage. That's fine by me. So we know they have one pen flinger. They've used both blade dances. So they can't pen fling this, buff their attack, and then blade dance again. And without the Skull of Gul'dan, it's going to be pretty good for us. Uh, this is pen flinger. Yeah. I'd like to get this down by one. Um, so they're not going to be able to get out Sociologist this turn. They're not trapped, they're my friends. Okay, we keep uh, an eight mini attack mini on board. So one cost spells activates their pen flinger a little bit more. That being said, if we get if we draw a Libram of Wisdom off the top, we have a pretty good turn here. Hey, loser. Mana burn's fine. He just gets that back in his hand. But we can deal nine this turn. Deal nine, play two more things that make it difficult for him to get to our face. So one of them is a pen flinger. This came from the wand banker. This is Cycle, which is really good for us. That costed zero. Lapidary is not discounted. Hey, loser. Okay, we have two mana left. They don't have another Blade Dance in hand. So they're going to take... I'm going to heal for five this turn. And that is hitting me as fine. So we can play... This... This... 
Give them a rush. Hit that once. And keep our board. Then we can go into a draw or this. I think this is probably good to start getting into so we can get more hopes online. He, they have trouble dealing with hopes. They don't have trouble dealing with these taunts, too. I haven't seen a glaive bond add up yet. It's another war glaives. Hey, loser. Second slice. So that's the that's they use all their twin slices. They're not trapped. They're our friends. So he's gonna smack that, which is fine. He's gonna heal for one. Okay, so we're going to go with this now. Actually, we should play this here first. Uh, we'll draw first, because we're probably not going to play much of anything we get off the edge in this turn. Uh, we can discount again. Play that. Just to buff this up a bit. How, do we need to take this off board? They have a pen flinger and something else in hand. Uh, let's. I think we can go face and not be too terribly punished. Pen, they have no more blade dances. That those are out. Um, they have to hit this with something more than three, four. They have, hit, they have to find four more damage. Glade bound adept could be in their hand. There's pen flinger. Yeah, we don't care about this dying. There's Skull of Gul'dan, but they only have three mana to work with. Uh, Sociologist is not a three mana card. That kind of sucks, but we still have it on board. We still have nine damage on board. They are going to heal a little bit, but we're going to buff. We're going to play an eight mana, eight, eight, a three mana, eight, eight with Divine Shield. I'm sorry. Okay. Another pen flinger. Soul shoe, that's fine. It's also fine because we're definitely just healing for eight again. And even though we're kind of top decking now, we're in a really good spot. So they're going to be up at 10. We're going to hit. So the two of these are pen flingers. Unsure what this is. Actually, they're going to be at 9, which is still fine. And we can do... We don't need to do both of them. And we can just chill. They have to clear this whole border. They just lose. Two pen flingers, two random cards. Sociologist doesn't get through this, I don't think. Hey, loser. Hey, loser. That's fine. Again, we still have 12 damage on board and another 8 in hand. They're going to ping a little bit, but I don't think they're going to be able to get there. They have a lot of silence in this deck, and I think it's specifically for this matchup. Yep. So let's see if we can't get one or two more. So th this is interesting. So let's keep the draw. Let's send these back. I'm going to assume that this is a Totem Shaman, so this is really good to have. I have seen Control Shaman get a little popular. There's a potential that it's Quest. But he sent all cards back, so... This looks like it's, um... Some kind of Totem or Aggressive Shaman. So let's play the good card. So... Let's play the second one, too. So I'm playing both of these for a reason. 
If he kills this, we still have this, and we can hand over Dalit. If they don't... Okay, so they're not going to kill our board, which is really nice. We want to take the totem off board, 110%. We have 5-2 right now. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to hit here. This should always get hit. And then we're going to play some more 1-1s. So we're going to do everything we can to keep them off board. We have Barov eventually. We should probably play this next turn. Try and deal those pen flingers for that Barov turn. So where's this go? This probably goes here. We gotta send two there for sure. Yep. So we can clear this, which is really nice. We gotta send this here to take this off. So we will. That couldn't go right there. We have a 4 4, which is really hard for them to deal with. Okay, so they're going to go into the. There's the, the Goliaths next, which we can save clears for that. We can save for that with clears. We'll go into a draw here. This is really good too. I'm going to buff this again. That's awesome for healing. Just get it off board. They can go into Goliath and we can just take it off board. Or we can actually just play a taunt for it too. Okay, so that trades. This is overload two, so they can't go into Goliath next turn. We'll play this taunt to discount these. Okay. Actually, we're going to play this so we can take these off board. Yeah. Okay, so they cannot go into Goliath this turn because of Overload. I want to get these discounted, but I don't want to get them discounted at the expense of my game plan. So we're just going to keep taking their totems off board even if they buff them. This is probably a pretty easy play. We should, this, we are getting into territory where these undiscounted are not terrible. Uh, actually, now we're not, so we should do this. We will send this here, this there, and we'll just take off one off board. This is the game plan. We're just going to keep killing them. Keep doing things to stop their game plan. We have this for a Goliath. And then we can clear up the totems afterwards. Okay. Wow. Not expecting that. So let's go with this 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 kill that kill that and we still are in a good spot for any future scaries that come about so this trades there obviously that can't not yeah. So we're going to control in this matchup. We're just going to take everything he does as it comes. Okay. So he's going to lose three of the... He might just lose all of these. Uh, no, did he get them rush? No, he didn't. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we did get them rush. Okay. 
which I mean is still fine. A bunch of stuff was just taken off board. Uh, we can play another Truth Seeker. Take this off. Play a Loot Hoarder. Buff this. Great chillin'. He's overloaded, which is good. Goliath is fine. This will take that. Actually, this will trade here. This is really good, too. So, trade here. Hit here one. Hit here. Hey, loser. Hey, loser, again, I really do not care if Penflinger dies. Take this off board. And then let's play the 8 8 with taunts. And draw, play a card that draws. Cool. So even if they do duplicate this board, we are in a really good spot to deal with it. This actually also, if he does it again, we can trade into the second Goliath. Yep. Which we're going to do with the cards that draw. The adjunct's really good, so I don't mind losing the 8-8. Eight eight. So we're going to do that. We'll send this face. Oh, we can't because there's a mini with taunts in the way. You have to attack the mini with taunts in the way. So we'll, we will do that. Actually, we can hit this. Trade here. Send this face. Play this. Hit it once. Buff. Can draw some more cards off of this too. Do that. Clear their board. And they will call that a turn. And now when this dies, because it only has one health, we can play this and get some more stuff back. Okay. We are not out of these woods yet by any stretch of the imagination, but we're pretty close. Um, and that really helps with being pretty close to out of the woods. Especially with this. Yep. We could have pinged these, traded, and hit him in the face for a bunch of damage. That's awesome. 